Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today we're gonna try 360 for men by Pirilis. So, fragrance is notable for having this shape and I'm gonna show you the bottle and the box. And the box is probably the worst box I ever, ever had. It says Perilis, I don't know where it starts, but it says Perilis all around it. Like that under. Cap is a cheap plastic cap, but also it's a cheap fragrance, so it doesn't really matter. Everything is in plastic over here, except the bottle that is glass. In the box, why the box is so bad is that it's a round bottle, a round box, I mean. And cap doesn't hold, so it's really easy to have the perfume there. It fits in the box, take it by the cap and it drops. Almost happened when I bought it. Even though inside there's a lot of cardboard to protect it. The box is not super good. And for the box, yeah, it says 360 Perilis. So I'm gonna put the back. So now we're gonna try the smell. So when I spray it, I already get a lot of smell in the air. It's aromatic, almost aquatic. The note of lemon is extremely strong on paper. Like lemon and bergamot that really dominate on the paper. You get a bit of lavender and that's about it. On my skin, what I'm picking up in the opening, there's a little bit of lemon and bergamot in the opening, but there's a lot of juniper berry. It, I would say there's a note of rosemary, which is probably the juniper berry that cause this or some aroma chemical. I, I see there's also lavender so I would assume probably the juniper berry and the lavender together because there's some ingredient like linalol as a notable example that is contained in both rosemary and lavender. So I would assume that probably there's linalol in the fragrance and yeah it even says on the box that there's linalol. I would assume this is the linalol and the juniper berry that gives that little smell of rosemary. As it dries down, there's the juniper berries always kind of stay there in the middle, in the heart notes, but there's more sage and lavender that's there. And there's a big floral note that I see really few people talk about. And for me, it's really the freesia note that's there in the heart. And as it dries down even more and the farther dry down, there's woody notes that it's there and there's a little bit of musk also I would say musk is more powerful than the woody notes longevity of the fragrance is average three to six hour and the projection also is average a little bubble around me people were able to smell me and for the company note breakdown top notes are juniper berry lemon and bergamot hard notes are lavender sage cardamom and freesia and the base notes are woody note vetiver and musk and where I would see this fragrance, I would say that it smells just a little bit elegant. It doesn't smell like super like power or anything, but it smells nice, it's pleasing. So I would say that as a business perfume in summer, it could be nice. Especially that a lot of business perfume are a little bit more wintry, like things that show more power and strength usually, usually are more wintry. So you can easily find something really elegant that is summery and i think this one you could make it work as a summer fragrance as a summer business fragrance as a dating scent i don't think it will be really there though it wouldn't be really bad i don't think it's quite the style but again it's a bit sweet it's a bit different so in summer you'll be able to pull it off easily as a dating scent it's just not quite that category in the summer winter spectrum i think it would be not really good for winter maybe it will work a little bit I, I would not put it in my winter scent more maybe it's in spring or fall would still work but winter winter wouldn't work in summer though it will be really great it's really what it is for me it's a summer fragrance it's a summer versatile fragrance this is what it is and as an everyday scent, it could be good. The only problem is the longevity that it doesn't last the whole day, but it's a cheap perfume. The bottles seem kind of resistant. You could bring it with you. I know that they have different format, that they are smaller. You can also put it in some travel atomizer. You can figure it out if you want to use it as an everyday scent. I think as a versatile scent, this is where it will be the most appropriate to like everyday 
kind of set up to just the longevity that's on there. Personally, on paper, I would say it smells really nice. And on my skin, I don't like it much. Even though it's cheap, it might be better to try it on yourself before you buy it. But again, it's really cheap, so you might just want to blind buy it and give it away in case you don't like it. But for the price, the quality is good. The smell is good also. So it's a nice fragrance. So hope you enjoyed the video. If it's the case, we'll like and share. If you ever tried this fragrance, Big It Is 360 for Men, or any other of the 360 line, tell me what you think about it and which one of the line really worth being tried. So, thanks for watching. See you soon.